What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to my channel. I am Frances Michel and I am so happy that you are here watching this video. I will be too if you like Jacqueline Hill or you just want to know from a YouTuber that it's not here to kiss ass to any company and you want to know her thoughts if you really should spend your money on her palette or not. You came to the right video, that I gotta tell you. <laughs> eh? Sorry guys, I've been recording all day. It's been a very stressful morning. <laughs> all right guys, so in today's video, we are going to be sharing um, my thoughts and a little eye tutorial on one of her palettes that she just launched today. So if you want to see my thoughts and this small tutorial on one of the palettes and you guys want to see if it's worth spending your money or if you should pass on this palette, then first off, hit subscribe, hit it, hit, 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 hit subscribe. And then let's go ahead and get on with the video. So Jaclyn Hill, right here, y'all don't know her. Who doesn't know her? Jaclyn Hill just launched today her vault collection with Morphe brushes. So we all know, we've all heard that when she kind of started sending out her PR packages, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of influencers were complaining that her quality honestly was sucky compared to the quality on her first palette with Morphe brushes. So apparently she needs to stop production and supposedly in less than 60 days or even 45 days, she managed to throw away all the other ones and create new ones. We don't know what the deal is, but I have heard a lot of scandals with that. I've heard comments where it says that people work in production and merchandising when it comes to um, packaging products and creating products, and that never in a million years, so many palettes can go into production in less than six months, less than a year. I'll feed you later. So, I really don't know what went on there. Um, she sent, again, her palettes to these influencers and some of the influencers tried it out. And I honestly feel like when your mind knows something, you're kind of going to believe it. I'll explain myself. So, first batch is bad. Horrendous. No sirve. Botala. Throw it out. <laughs> Now, new batch is everything is redesigned, everything is remade, and pigmentation and everything looks, it's great too. The quality on it is as expected. So, here are those influencers swatching old versus new, and they're just like, oh my god, yes, definitely the formula is great. I really don't know. I didn't receive the old palettes, but I feel like... I don't know, there's something weird about it. So I decided to buy it myself and try the foundation. Ugh. I decided to buy them myself and try these um, palettes. I was actually going to pass on them, to be very honest. But this scandal kind of made it to more where people are aware of her palettes and you need to buy them. You know, it was kind of like a mind trick, I feel like. But anyways, so the cool thing about it is that they launched today on murphy.com, on ulta.com, and also on ulta stores. So I thought that was great, that you not only was able to order it on, online, have to pay shipping, and have to wait for them to come, and all that, but you were also able to go into an ulta store if you were lucky enough and get all four of the palettes. So, my local ulta only had three. What's up with my local ulta? Because they always missing something on collections. But I was able to track down another ulta around me that had the fourth palette. But I only decided to buy three palettes, guys, because honestly speaking, the other color was not me. It was not a, and it was not a, uh, it was not a palette that I was actually gonna use. So I was like, why spend my money when I know I know for a fact that I'm not gonna use this palette? So I'm gonna show you the three ones that I picked up. This is what the outside looks like. I feel like it's totally her, very out there, very glamorous, very in your face. So I ended up picking Ring the Alarm, Armed and Gorgeous, and Bling Bust. So these are the three ones I picked out. I have to say the packaging is very cute, very sleek. In the back of the packaging you have her laughing and 
saying that she's so excited to finally show you guys the shades I've stashed away in a vault. I hope you love this collection. And then on here you have like the names of it like in platinum. No, you have Murphy and Jaclyn Hill but like in platinum. And then on the other side you have the names of the palette. So the packaging is pretty cool. Very slick, very simple, very like glam like she is. And then here are what the palettes look like guys. You guys have already seen them on YouTube and Instagram. So these are the three ones I picked out. I'm going to go through them really, really quickly. This one is the Armed and Gorgeous. Okay. Bling Boss. These are beautiful shades, guys. Bling Boss. Look at that purple. Okay. The last one is Ring the Arm. Oh, the shades are very beautiful. Here we go. Okay. So as you can see, I did not pick up the darker shades. I'm going to make a comparison with the old Jaclyn Hill palette. So when you open her, this is what she looks like. Um, let's just take a little comparison, guys, really, really quick. Okay, so I feel like that yellow in the middle, it's not anywhere to be found in this palette. Maybe this brick red right here kind of matches, kind of matches this brick red right over here, right here. But I still feel like it's too light. Let me bring you guys closer. Let's do another comparison with the other one. These are the purp like the burgundies and the purple and whatever. You want I'm gonna swatch that purple with this purple right over here so you guys can see it. Okay, here we go. So the top one right here is her new palette. The bottom is her old palette. So the new palette is more like a, it's, it gives me more of a cool tone. It's more cool toned than the other one. The other one is a little bit darker. That's a little bit darker of a purple, but still very, very, very pigmented as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna pick another shade that I see here that looks a little bit similar. Actually, when you really put them together, they don't look that similar at all. So I just swatched this one. And I'm comparing it to this one on her new palette. So as, again, the top part, the top one, it's from her new one. This is from her old one. She probably gave them a little bit darker colors or whatever, but I feel like her colors are very nicely. And for me, most of them don't really come similar to the other ones. How beautiful. The colors are very pigmented, guys. Like, I'm not lying. It's super pigmented. And as I see it, it doesn't have a lot of fallouts to the palette. It's, it's, it's beautiful, guys. It's, they're very buttery. They are very, very, very buttery. Look at these three right here. Look at these three. Oh, that's so pretty. And honestly speaking, very little fallout off the palette so I swatch these from this palette I swatch this one right here this one and of course that beautiful yellow golden on the top oh, those are cute these are very light but the colors are still very cute look at them oh that's beautiful that is beautiful let me just show you real quick the mattes on this one those are the mattes this is a beautiful color these are, this is a beautiful palette, guys. The pigmentation on these babies are amazing. Honestly speaking, I love it. I see nothing wrong with the ones I swatched. Um, like I said, for me, it doesn't compare to her old palette. Um, I do love that her packaging this time is a lot smaller. So you can definitely take whichever colors you feel like taking with you. So I feel like these palettes right here are amazing for traveling rather than taking this huge ass palette. And of course, no mirror each of her palettes come with a little time it's a little mirror but it, but it's still you get a mirror so you can use it as you're applying your makeup it's just you can just see the whole entire shape of your eye so i thought it was pretty cool they're 15 dollars a palette and they have they have 12 shades <laughs> guys i honestly 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 like this palette like I honestly do 
honestly speaking. As of right now, you guys will definitely see the tutorial. You guys will definitely see how everything blends and how everything applies. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad that I bought them. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm really happy with the colors and all that. So. I will give you a tutorial. You guys will see the tutorial with the one that is called um, Armed and Gorgeous, which is this one right here, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And I will definitely, definitely, definitely give you a tutorial with the other palette close soon. Very, very soon. So let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial really, really quick just so you guys can see how everything kind of blended together and how everything kind of paid off. Alright guys, so let's get started. Today's a tutorial and it's gonna be, we're gonna be using the Arms and Gorgeous, like I said. I'm gonna be using Arms and Gorgeous. Um, this is the palette that I had to go like really far for it. I'm like, eh. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I feel like these colors are like right up my alley and they're just so perfect for fall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this palette and see. Let's put her to the test. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on working on the tutorial and um, bring you guys closer as I go and give you guys like usual how I feel about how the colors are blending and all that. So I'm going to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the color Axis, which is this one right here in the top. I'm gonna start with Axis with this, this one right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the green one and then of course we're gonna close it with that beautiful corn shimmer color. Um, the pigmentation is not bad guys um, as you can see it's picking up well um, I have no fallouts and it's blending nicely as of right now this yellow color axis it's blending very nicely as you can see it looks true to a shade um, yeah I don't think this was meant to be darker but it's definitely um, you can raise the color up a little bit if you keep adding to the color now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that green shade in the corner, which is called um, Top Secret. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and I'm gonna concentrate on my crease. I was worried you blow my reputation, but I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me feel, your hands on myself, I keep pulling the trigger. Right? This very finger for people like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the color, which was it? The color coin. It does look like a coin right here. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of um, concealer to kind of do a cut crease. What I like about this one right now that I'm using is that it actually doesn't have a lot of fallouts as you can see. It really doesn't have a lot. Look. And it has the transfer is good, which that's great when it comes to a shimmer or a foil like this. The top sticker green and that access color right here that I applied as my um, crease. I'm just going to go back and forth um, between those two colors to kind of get like the perfect um, you know, trying to make sure that all the colors are well blended and this cut crease is going to co cooperate with me today. As of right now, honestly speaking, the colors do work well together. They blend very nicely. They look very nice together. Um, 
they're very pig um, they're pigmented some of them are not as pigmented as the other one um, like these ones right here that I'm using the green and the yellowish shade I feel like the, the yellow is not too intense the green it is intense it's as you can see you can see it on my eye on my eyes and I love how it looks so I'm just gonna go back and forth and blend and just pretty much uh, finish my eye I normally apply as you guys know I normally use what I use on the top of my eyes I normally use it on the bottom of my eye so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and finish work off the um, blending of everything make sure everything blends well together and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same axis and top secret to the bottom part of my um, lashes and then we're gonna go ahead and take it from there oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we're living in, oh baby, you are Okay guys, so there you have it. This is my final look that I came up with using the, um, uh, what is it called? The Arm and Gorgeous palette. So this video was a little tutorial on this palette, but definitely I'm going to be giving you guys tutorials on the following palette. So let me sum up uh, my thoughts on the palette. As of right now, like I said, I tried the Armed and Gorgeous. Yeah, I tried the Armed and Gorgeous, and honestly speaking, um, I love it, <laughs> to be honest. I really, really love the colors. I love the pigmentation of it. I loved how it had very, very minimal fallout, and I love it. I love when a foundation, when a, when a palette has minimum fallout, because, I mean, like, you don't wanna have, like, you know, I shadow like down here. You want to have it like up here. That's where it's meant to be. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, this is nice. Like at the beginning, I kind of struggled with the yellow, but as I was blending it, um, it just blend very nicely and the colors pay off really nice. Um, like I said, there was very, very little fallout to the palette, so I was just like impressed. I was like, yes, bitch, yes. <laughs> I love it honestly um I feel like if I really love the armed and gorgeous I'm definitely gonna enjoy using the other two and yeah guys honestly speaking these colors are beautiful these colors are perfect for fall I mean look at that oh, oh so beautiful this is the one I traveled for so guys honestly speaking um $15 a pop $15 a palette it's not it's not bad whatsoever for the quality um what they did to it i don't know if they really re redid every 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 single one of them but honestly speaking this one that i bought with the arm and the gorgeous just is really really good i hope i can say the same things about the other ones when we do the other tutorials and swatches but as of right now the arm and gorgeous um really paid off really um definitely those colors that i use so honestly speaking you can get them they're $15 you I don't feel like you will be losing money and I don't feel like it's a huge invention investment where you're just like crap I paid $42 for eight to 14 shadows and they suck no $15 and the colors are very beautiful so there you have it that's all I gotta say I really have to say I love it I love it I love it <laughs> so guys if you like the video and you like the tutorial as usual Give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comment section below. If you're planning on picking them up, if you pick them up, if you think they're crappy or you think they're worth it. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Do not go without without hitting that subscribe button right down there. Be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for the support. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.